Well, I'm extremely grateful to be here delivering our festival at Warnham Park, which is an essential part of Shipley Arts Festival. And thank you so much, Jonathan and Caroline, for welcoming me here now on behalf of all the musicians and, and the audience who are with us now. Um, we started playing with you in your Shrevel year, Jonathan, and could you just share with our audience what your experiences have been of the festival and tonight's special concerts in aid of Blood Cancer UK? Yes, indeed. Well, the first thing is that uh, I met you, Andrew, when I was uh, shortly uh, the High Sheriff about six years ago. And we hit it off instantly. I mean, we just had such a, a gas. And, and in that evening, I remember, uh, by the end of it, we'd actually planned uh, a wonderful concert here. It just came out of nowhere. And uh, that was the start of it. And, and we've continued every year. And very sadly, this year, you won't actually be here. But, uh, but we're looking forward to making amends, perhaps, next year and having two concerts uh, in two different venues. Mm. Um, so that'd be rather fun, wouldn't uh, it? And you just reminded me that we were the three naughty boys, because yes. myself <laughs> and the wonderful Rupert Tuvey, who's also yeah. a wonderful sponsor. So there's a triumvirate of uh, great success there. Caroline, could you share a few words with us with your experience of music? Because you've become such great friends. So as is the festival, it's much more than concerts and music. It's about people coming together. But well, please share your experiences. Well, we've mm -hmm. had a lovely time with mm -hmm. the concert being here um, for the last six years with uh, lots of people. We've been terribly blessed with the weather. We've always had our drinks on the terrace and then our wonderful scrambled eggs afterwards after hearing the most glorious music played yes. on uh, Jonathan's great great grandmother's piano um, and uh, it's uh, it's a very very special evening and this and, and I think next year Andrew and Jonathan are planning to have give everybody a big surprise as well so as we sit here on another glorious evening um, yeah. we look forward to and what a fantastic um, charity to be supporting yeah. uh, blood cancer um, I think uh, Jonathan and Andrew have both been very touched by it so it's a wonderful thing that we can we can uh, do that for everybody. Oh, I agree. My my family have been very involved in leukemia research, as it was. It's been through many names uh, because it's been so successful in in getting on top of childhood leukemia, which is really its genesis. And my brother uh, James, who was two younger, two years younger than I, uh, died when he was about seven uh, after two and a half years uh, being a guinea pig for cortisone injections. And, you know, in his time, just over 50 years ago, it was a death sentence. Now, uh, it's a fraction of people who actually die of it. it, it it's, it's two or three percent, something like that. So, so it's, uh, it's changed its name uh, because they found so many other blood cancers. So that's a wonderful thing. And uh, I know that um, my parents, uh, when they were... Um, developing the local Horsham branch of uh, leukaemia research, raised uh, over many years £200,000 just by little events. So, it, and, and this is an organisation where every penny literally goes into research. It's wonderful. It's, it's very, very efficient. So thank you for... Uh, helping us to sponsor it. Thank you, Andrew, for being part of that. Well, thank you, Jonathan and Caroline, because um, this is very special for me to be able to be here now. And I hope this has been a window for everybody who's mm. with us this evening into the wonderful Warnham Park, which is absolutely unique. Um, Jonathan and Caroline both know I love talking about the deer, which are the largest and the finest <laughs> in the world. Um, I keep reminding them of that because I think it's extraordinary. And you can see the wonderful grounds here so imagine you're here through these next pieces of music which we're going to share with you um it's myself and jonathan and jonathan few and maria marchant um please be transported into warnham park look forward to seeing you at the other end uh when we will better discuss together and chat amongst the musicians from the concert that we're now going to perform for you and stay safe and we'll see you here next year wonderful We're going to share three really great pieces of music, all popular and played by my ensemble, Bernardi Music Group. Uh, they were performed last year. These are all live, unedited recordings, so they're real. Even if they're 
in virtual time. They are actually real. There's no editing, as I say. And the first little excerpt I'd like to play is Pachelbel's Canon. Just a few bars, and I hope you enjoy this. The idea of our three excerpts is really to uh, leave you at the end of this session just feeling relaxed, optimistic, hopeful, and like all of us, looking forward to the future and seeing each other in person. But um, for now, I hope this brings something which is very special for you in this week as well as this month. I hope you enjoy this clip from St Andrew's Church in Nuthurst in the middle of West Sussex. It's where Vaughan Williams used to frequent. He wrote his hymn, Monk's Gate, right beside this church that you're going to see. The, you, I'm sure you know the hymn. It's... A very famous hymn. And Monk's Gate is part of the parish of Nuthurst. So very local, but also I hope you find this special too. <laughs> This next estate is called Nep Castle Estate. It's the Wilding uh, project you may have heard of. You may have seen um, Lady Isabella Burrell's book in the bestseller list called Wilding. So we do a Wilding concert every year and each piece has something to do with one of the animals. So for example, the Trout Quintet was about the fish. And, 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 and this one, this piece we're gonna play is a special arrangement and I hope you enjoy this. It's a short clip from the end of a very, very famous piece of music by J.S. Bach, Sheep May Safely Graze. But before we play, have a careful look at my violin. We're called Stradivarius Piano Trio, and we take the name from this violin, which I have that huge privilege and responsibility um, to look after and play. It's, it's an absolute miracle, this violin, and I'm very grateful that I'm able to play it. So a very, very beautiful setting. And we're going to go back to Nuthurst Church now um, to another concert we gave there as a group. And 
it's been declared again the most popular piece in the United Kingdom by Classic FM, The Lark Ascending by Ralph Vaughan Williams, who I mentioned knew this church extremely well. And this is just the uh, ending of that very famous piece where, based on the wonderful poem by George Mer Meredith, The Lark Ascending, and the bird takes off and finishes way above the rafters of the church. It finishes up in the clouds, floating around, singing beautifully. I hope you enjoy and, and see that picture when you hear these this play out on my violin. So I hope you enjoyed that little clip of uh, the lark really flying over the Sussex countryside. You may hear in the background now the birds here. We're, we're out in the countryside where we live and I hope that you've enjoyed our three pieces and you won't mind me putting in a fourth one because I would love to share this with you. It's foot tapping tango dances in the four seasons but not the four seasons you're thinking of. This is by Pitt Sola, and this is especially arranged for our Stradivarius piano trio. And I must thank Maria Marchant, virtuoso pianist, Jonathan Few, the fabulous cellist, and also I would like to thank all the other musicians who have performed to, in this this uh, session.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed the concert. Uh, I'm sure I will <laughs> as we're recording this. This is uh, the park and we'll have that backdrop for a concert next year. But for a bit of a, a sweetener for next year, we'll also have a concert in the new barn that we've just put up, uh, which will be festooned with wonderful antlers and will be something quite remarkable. It already is quite remarkable. Uh, and I think you're seeing a still shot of what it's going to look like uh, in the background or instead of my ugly face. So we're going to look forward to having the Arts Festival back again twice next year to make up for this disappointing summer in many ways, but not for want of music. God bless you and stay safe. <laughs>